Hello, my dear students, and welcome to today's class. The session of the topic for the day is electric current. Okay, so children, you we are using every day from morning to night. Okay, even when we are sleeping, we we are using so many of electrical appliances. And how do the appliances work? They work with the help of electricity. No electricity, no appliance would work. Okay. For running of all the appliances, electricity is very important. So today in this chapter, we are going to read about this only. Okay. So shall I start the chapter? Can you all see on your screens also? Okay. In today's world, electricity is important and essential source of energy. Electricity gives electrical energy that is convenient and controllable form of energy. So children. the supply of energy electricity is in our hand whenever we want to have we can just switch on the switch in case we do not want switch it off okay so it is convenient and it is controllable it is uh, we can operate by our own okay it is used everywhere be it in industries be it schools be in hospitals everywhere electricity is required okay so now i'll tell you what electric current is for okay electric circuit and energy flows in electric wires which produces heat and light this energy is called electric current so what is electric current when the energy is flowing in the uh, electric wires and it is producing both heat and light it is called electric current okay there are various components involved in making this current flow through the wires what are all those if we want the wires should uh, we uh, the sorry the electricity should be running in the wire what all we need we need a battery we need a bulb okay we need a switch okay so they are battery wire switch and bulb the arrangement of these components to allow free flow of electric current is called an electric circuit and with this diagram as it's on the screen also you can clearly understand what electric circuit okay now moving to the next one components of electric circuit i'll tell you in detail now okay first is cell or battery very important okay a cell is a source of electric a cell a cell is a source of electric current it has a positive terminal and a negative terminal okay it is the main source of electric current and it has got two terminals one is positive and other one is negative two or more cells are put together to provide the required current okay while doing so the positive terminal of the cell is placed in contact with the negative terminal of the adjacent cell such an arrangement of two or more cells is called a battery when a positive terminal is uh, connected to the negative terminal fine children now second is switch first was cell or battery whatever you want you can call you can either call it cell or you can call it a battery second one is switch okay now see this electric current flows only when the circuit is closed the flow of current is stopped as if there is an obstruction so children you can see these all wires and in case now the switch what is the position of the switch it is not touching okay so electric current flows only when the circuit is closed this circuit is open so the electric current is not flowing here here the electric circuit is closed okay so electric current is flowing over here fine children a switch also called a key is used to open or close a circuit when the switch is on the circuit is closed now switch is on okay as you can see this is the switch this is on so the current is not flowing but when we are closing the switch the current starts flowing fine children hence current flows through the circuit when the switch is off the circuit is open and the flow of current stops fine children now coming to the next one bulb bulb okay third is bulb first word was first one was just now i told you it was cell or battery second was switch and third is bulb now okay now an appliance or object which shows the effect of flow of current is also a part of the electric circuit a bulb or a tube gives light glows when a and a fan runs only when electric current reaches to it or is supplied to these devices a bulb has a thin filament made up of tungsten 
This thin filament blows when electric current passes through it. See children, whenever the electric current is passing through the circuit, there is a bulb. Okay, in case the bulb blows, whenever the bulb blows, that means the current is flowing. Okay, and if the bulb is not blowing, that means the current is not flowing. Fine. So, this is a symbol for a lamp or a bulb that blows when the electric current passes through the circuit. Okay, this is the symbol for that. Whenever the bulb is glowing, whenever the bulb is uh, glowing, this is the symbol we are using. Okay, in the electric circuit. Now, coming to the next one. Okay, wires. Very important tool. Whatever the electricity is running, it is running through the wires only. Okay. The, uh, wires are always made up of good conductors of heat and electricity. Okay, fine children. We know some metals that are good conductors of heat and uh, of electricity. Hence, the wires used to conduct electricity are made up of such metals. Copper is mainly used in making electrical wires. Children, because copper is quite reasonable also. Other elements are also there, the other metals are also there which we can use for this uh, wires. But copper being reasonable and being a good conductor of electricity, the wires, all the electrical wires are mostly made up of copper. Fine. Now, the next one is ammeter. An ammeter is an instrument used to measure the amount of electric current flowing through the circuit. We attach this to the main circuit to know what amount of electricity is running in the wires. Fine children. Now comes the voltmeter. A voltmeter is an instrument used to measure the voltage of the electric potential between two points in an electric circuit. Your ammeter is used to measure the amount of electric current flow and here it is the voltage okay voltage of the electric potential okay don't get confused in this ammeter something else and voltmeter is different ammeter is required to measure the amount of electric current but with the voltmeter we come to know the voltage of the electricity okay the power fine children so now i'll tell you about the symbols different symbols are there Whenever we are drawing the electric circuit, we are not every time drawing this, okay, cell. How do we denote these cells? By this symbol. This is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. Battery is represented by this way. Electric bulb, in this way. Connecting wires, okay, this one. Then, in case we uh, connect wires together, then this, then this is the way we are representing and in case the switch is off, when the switch is off, it has to be like this, okay? Because I told you, whenever the switch is off, switch is off, that means electric current is not flowing, okay? And when the switch is on, it is in this position. That means uh, electricity, sorry, this electricity starts running in the wires, fine? So the next one is, circuit diagram. Can you all see on the screen? Okay. Fine now. A circuit diagram is a representation of an electric current using the symbols of the circuit element. Just now I told you about the uh, diagrams also, whatever diagram we are using when we are making the electric circuit. Okay. Now, what are the effects of electric current? Children, what are the effects? See, uh, I told you from morning till night and even at night when we are sleeping, we are using so many electrical appliances, okay? These electrical appliances are either they are giving us heat or either they are giving us light, okay? So for all that, what do we need? We need electricity, fine? So we use electricity for electrical appliances. These electrical appliances either produce heat or light. Hence, we can say that the production of heat and light are effects of electric current. Fine. Now, first is heating effect of current. There are many instruments. There are many instruments which we are using, many appliances which we are using. What are they actually? The magnetic current, it is changed into electrical current. Okay. 
the heating effect of current is used in many appliances these appliances have elements which heats up when current is passed through them like you must have uh, uh, microwaves at home you are using geysers you are using iron and iron i mean kapde jab aap press karte na that is called iron not iron that is the correct pronunciation of that word is iron okay you are using uh, blowers you are using head dryers to dry your hair so what is happening whenever the current passes through there it produces heat okay now lightning effect of current i hope this is visible now okay see children after heating the bulb starts glowing an electric bulb produces light but it gives out heat which is not desirable to avoid this wastage compact fluorescent lamps you must have heard of cfl these days okay earlier we were using big big bulbs now what has happened because when the bulbs are uh, we are using bulbs at the same time it give us out heat also and heat we don't need that is just wasted so what we have done we have invented cfl okay the full form of cfl is compact fluorescent lamp i used to produce i used to produce light instead of electrical bulb they don't have filament and heat energy is not produced hence they are power efficient earlier we were using bulbs okay what was happening when tungsten was uh, the uh, filament used to burn it used to produce heat also and it was not required by us so what uh, we have done we have switched off to cfl okay in cfl the uh, filament is not there only the required light whatever we require we get from it no wastage of heat is fine now electric fuse what is an electric fuse children okay can you all see on your screen also okay if more amount of electric current flows through the electric circuit it gets heated up more more heat causes damage to the circuit and in some cases may even cause fire okay when we are heating heating continuous heat, heating is there what happens at times it may get it may get fire also such incident is called a short circuit okay to avoid such accidents a safety device is used in the electrical circuit it is called an electric fuse it is a thin wire enclosed inside a glass tube this device prevents excess flow of current thus preventing the appliance from getting damaged okay what are we using electric fuse you can see the fuse is somewhat like this okay it is a wire in this you can see this is a wire you can see the wire here okay and it is uh, enclosed inside a glass tube you can see this is a tube also over here this is the tube in which it is enclosed and what happens this device prevents excess flow of current thus preventing the appliances from getting damaged fine children now come to the next one uh, short circuit what actually short circuit is okay i'll tell you what is short circuit can you all see on your screens now Okay. Fine now. The touching of live wire and neutral wire directly due to defective or damaged wiring leads to a short circuit. This causes a sudden flow of large electrical current. The short circuit may lead to electrical fires also. Okay, what happens? Continuously the electricity is passed. What happens? Sometimes it gets heated also. and what what is the result due to uh, the reason is live wire and neutral wire they get damaged and they start touching each other and the result is a short circuit okay now miniature or circuit uh, break marker the mcb okay mcb you must have seen you see in this diagram also you must have seen in every house you would find mcb in case there is a, some fault in the electricity the mcb falls down ओके कुछ भी खराब होता है कोई भी अप्लायंस खराब हो जाता है आपका वॉट हैपन द मोमेंट देर इज अ फॉल्ट दिस एम सी बी फॉल्स डाउन ओके दिस एम सी बी द रेड पार्ट का इसका फॉल्स डाउन ओके देन यू गो अगेन एंड पुश इट अप देन अगेन द इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट वो स्टार्ट होगी ओके सो 
these days household electrical wiring has a device called the miniature circuit breaker it has one or more than one switch one when there is too much current flowing through the circuit the switch automatically shifts to the off position thus stopping the flow of current just now i told you whenever there is any fault okay as soon as there is a fault the sensor will would fall down okay and the electric current would stop but if you pull it up again push it up again the current would start here fine now magnetic effect of electric current so the property the property by virtue of which an object now the next topic is magnetic effect of electric current so then what is magnetism it is the property of any metal to attract everything towards it so okay there are some uh, metals like if i talk about magnet it attracts all the things made up of iron towards it okay so the property by virtue of which an object attracts another object is called magnetism fine can you all see on your screen also okay now we know that the current carrying conductors uh, also have magnetic effect, effect a conductor carrying current exert magnetic field around it higher the strength of the current flowing to the wires higher the strength of the magnetic field okay the higher the uh, frequency of the current so the magnetic field field would be more if the uh, current is less the magnetic field would be less okay now what is a solenoid okay next topic is solenoid okay a solenoid is a device that has a core made of iron around which conducting wires are wrapped this arrangement behaves like a magnet hence it is called a electromagnet you can see here also okay in this diagram is there it is a device okay it is a device that has a core the inner part it is made up of iron okay and around this wire around this magnetic part all uh, copper wire is wrapped this is if i talk about like this this is a metal uh, bar and around it all the copper wire is wrapped fine this and this arrangement behaves like a magnet so it is also called a electromagnet fine now coming to the next one see there is a very beautiful example also which has been the done over here but i'll just read out the conclusion for you can you all see on the screen okay the magnetic effect of current is higher if the number of the turns of wire around the core is more the number of wrapping when you are wrapping the uh, copper on that metal rod the number of uh, wrapping is more so the more the number of uh, wrapping is there the more is a magnetic field fine now thus we can say that the strength of the solenoid or the electromagnet can be increased by employing the following method first increasing the number of turns of wire around the core and increasing the flow of current in the wire both the ways you can increase the uh, electromagnetic strength okay first is by number of turns as i told you the number of turns the more number of turns uh, wires the more is the strength then increasing the flow of current in the wire fine now now we'll be studying about uses of electromagnet okay can you all see on your on your screens also okay first is just a minute huh? can you all see now okay uses of electromagnet electromagnet uh, Finds its use in wide ranges of devices. First, it is used in scrap yard to separate junk made of iron from other materials. What is a scrap yard? Where we dump all the scrap. Okay, it is mainly used over there. There is a big electromagnet, and what happens? All the things made up of iron get fixed here. Okay, 
and whenever we want to separate we are using a electromagnet in the scrap yard to separate iron from other materials okay now the second is it is almost it is used in almost all the electric appliances like acs refrigerators and washing machines it is also used in electric bell electromagnets are used by doctors to remove tiny iron particles from the eye of a person which may have fallen into the eye accidentally then cranes with strong electromagnets are used to lift heavy loads like big machines steel grinders etc so you can see how useful electromagnet is there it is used everywhere it makes our work easy also okay now we'll come the next at the last topic is electro sorry electric bell every person have house has electric bell whenever anyone comes he just pushes the switch and the bell is there and you come to know okay there is someone on a go okay we should know the working of it how it is done okay so an electric bell is one of the device that make use of an electromagnet to function this is an arrangement of elements inside the electric bell okay this is the diagram it's very beautifully done also you can just go to it now i'll tell you how this device works when you press the switch to ring the bell the electric current starts going okay whenever someone is there and he just pushes the switch what happens the electric current starts moving now when current flows through the electromagnet it attracts the soft iron strip okay fine children then the hammer attached to the strip hits the gong thus making a sound your gong is there okay what happens now when the current is flowing through the electromagnet it attracts the soft iron strip you can see the soft iron strip is there it attracts okay it what happens if this uh, it comes closer to this and when it comes closer to this the gong is there and the hammer on this iron strip uh, only the hammer is there it uh, gets attracted to this also and the gong it, it hits the gong now what is there you can hear a sound okay while the soft iron strip gets attracted to the electromagnet it breaks its con contact with the iron screw thus in turn breaking the circuit the current stops flowing and the electromagnet no longer attracts the iron strip fine now this uh, again restores the iron strip back to its normal position the iron strip once again touches the screw the current starts flowing and the cycle continues whenever you are pushing the switch what is happening i told you whenever you are pushing you can see here also whenever you are pushing this uh, soft uh, iron strip is there it is uh, it is getting attracted and with on the strip hole you can find here you can see here also there's a hammer attached to it okay and whenever the hammer is it's getting closer what happens the hammer gets uh, struck on the gong and whenever the gong is there uh, you can hear a voice okay this is the way electric bell is working now children go to the chapter properly and in case you have any problem keep on going keep on reading okay thank you and have a nice